Welcome to the Branding Expert Show. I am Susie Libertor, owner and art director of Visions to Images, and I help businesses get their branding on track with my unique strategies and processes. With over a decade of experience, I helped corporations and mid-sized businesses create an unforgettable vision identity. I'm excited to have this podcast so that everybody can learn a little bit about branding as well as the entrepreneur world because we all know how tough and rough it can be. So without further ado, I want to announce today's guest. Welcome to the Branding Expert Podcast with Susie Libertor, owner and art director of Visions to Images. I'm here today with Anna McConnell. She's a transformation coach and a wardrobe stylist. I met her in Florida. She's in my mastermind and I'm super excited to have her on. As always, she looks amazing. She always looks great. So I'm so glad she's on. I love that shirt. Love everything about it. So hi, Anna. Hi, Susie. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for coming on. So tell us, I know a little bit about you. So tell us how you got started in this journey. Well, I'm French and uh, I've lived and worked most of my life in Paris. And um, I was born into fashion. My mom was a wonderful seamstress. My great aunt was a designer. I wanted to be a designer myself, but that didn't work out. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And um, I worked in the luxury industry for 15 years, and I always wanted to have my own fashion business. And um, when I moved to the States uh, in 2004, while saying that it it seems like so long ago, (laughs) uh, (laughs) I moved with my son, who was 14 at the time, and he had very limited English. So I wanted to be present and at home to, uh, you know, take care of him and, and make the transition easier. So that was the perfect opportunity to uh, open my styling business and work from home. Yes. And um, so I did that for a few years. And later, the Transgender Institute of Kansas City contacted me and asked me whether I wanted to join their team. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing that. you know, helping trans women uh, create a wardrobe with their style and personality. Um, So yeah, that that was exciting. Yeah, that's super exciting. That's so amazing that you're able to help those people, um, the trans women and stuff like that. They definitely need it. Um, I mean, I need it. I always need help with style, (laughs) wardrobe and everything as well. So it's it's great that you have both diversity for Yes. You know, women and then transgender women. So that's that's amazing. So what kind of stuff do you do for, for this wardrobe stylist kind of stuff? Like, tell us a little bit about that. Well, my clientele uh, in terms of transgender women is um, transitions later in life. So they have not had the influence that we had, you know, with our peers, our friends, our moms. And... Um, since it's later in life, they have everything to learn. Right, true. So I help them, uh, first of all, gain confidence to, you know, go shopping, to to learn all of that. And I try to make, navigate the waters, help them navigate the waters better. You know, it, it can be daunting for, sure. for some people. Sure, I'm, I'm sure about that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And especially when um, you haven't learned all these tricks and tips that seem so basic to us. Right. So we work on style, image, and uh, creating a wardrobe that's unique to them, that corresponds to their lifestyle, their profession, and, and so forth. Yeah, I definitely think there's a great... Um, information there, trying to really help them to find like who they are, what they want to wear and stuff. Yes. And, and yeah. over time, obviously things change. We get older and people have different styles, always constantly changing and styles for seasons change. So mm-hmm. I'm sure that they come to you for all of these different like elements, essentially um, for that. Yes. Yeah. yeah, perfect. And, and some, you know, um, when transitioning, they will change jobs or profession. Exactly. Uh, leaving their old life 
-hmm. So they need a new wardrobe and to ease into things, you know, slowly. So I can't even imagine how, how it must be for them for sure. I mean, I know I'm not a fashion wardrobe person kind of thing. I just wear what I want. Right. But (laughs) I mean, there's times when you have to change or wear certain things for certain stuff and still find like as time goes on, I'm finding that my style changes and profession changes and all that. So I can't even imagine how it must be for them to pretty much kind of like almost start over. Like you said, Um, it's tough for sure. So what are you most excited about in your business or personal or whatever? Tell us what you're excited about. Well, I had initially created a online program Mm -hmm. for the trans community and um it was for people who um were located remotely or were not as comfortable with a one-on-one consultation Mm -hmm. um it's done via video calls and 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 calls and um it was so successful that i have expect excuse me i'm losing my voice expanded it um to to make it available to everyone. So I'm excited about that. It's going okay. very well. So what does that kind of include? Well, we go over uh, the measurements, okay. um, all their preferences. Um, it, it's a styling program. So we create the wardrobe they need. Uh, we talk about lifestyle, about their profession, um, their activities. Um, that's so exciting. That's yeah. Amazing. And yeah. so are you involved with it or is it more just like handed off to them essentially? Oh no, I, I'm totally involved. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if it was like videos of like, just, just, you know. No, we, we okay. start together with a video call where there's an interview where I gather all the information yeah. and then I create a, a style guide, especially for them. And then we go over it and, um, cause they have questions, of course. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm, yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. I love it. I love it. So if you could give anybody some advice, whether they're starting off or whether they're even going into being a trans, um, woman, how, like, what kind of advice would you give somebody? Well, this is for everyone. You know, it, it breaks my heart when I hear women uh, criticizing themselves or their body. Uh, there are always little tips and tricks to learn to enhance what you have and conceal the little flaws that often we only see, right. you know, nobody else. And when we feel good about ourselves, we're happier and more confident. So I'd say life is short. Don't waste precious moments on you know, the little things, if you, um, we deserve to feel better about about ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, feeling inadequate is never, is never fun. So I help women, uh, well, I do my best anyway, to realize how fortunate they are and how amazing they can look with little tweaks. Mm -hmm. So that would be my advice, you know, to um, figure out your style, how you want to be perceived, who you really want to put out there in the world, and and go for it. We're all unique. We all have our our assets, you know. Yeah. And don't waste time on little things. Yeah, I think that's so amazing. I think it's true. We're all so unique. And so many times we hear people saying, oh, those jeans, if only I could lose weight or this or that or whatever, you know, and it's tough. And I get, I get it that we all want to lose weight. Nobody ever say, says they want to gain weight ever really, right? Like, no. I want to lose no. weight. I want to look good. But there's ways to look good and feel good. And obviously you are very the expert in that. So um measuring them and like making clothes fit the way they need it to fit with their body is amazing. Yes. The clothes should fit the body you have. Right. You know? 
you yeah. shouldn't have to change yourself for that. Exactly. I know after I had a kid, I, well, okay. So I gained 55 pounds when I was pregnant and then I was like the super skinny little girl before pregnant. <laughs> you know, I could eat all the cake and all the cookies and have metabolism through the roof. And then <laughs> after I had my son, I was like, oh, I'm going to lose all this weight. No, it, I didn't lose it. I still have like a little tummy. But what I noticed is my hips and my butt are bigger now, of course, <laughs> my thighs. But it's, I try to work out. I try to eat better. And I'm still like, every day I'm kind of like, oh, I'm going to eat good one day. No, I just kind of let it go at this point. And I was trying on pants last week, actually. And I'm like all in between sizes, right? Like there was zero to oh, all yeah. how, how it fits in your body. So you can't judge a size in your body by that. And I'm like, well, I have this body, so it's what it is, right? Like, I'm like, the only thing I would ever want to change maybe a little bit is the stomach, like losing a little bit of the belly, but all the other, like, it's, it's whatever. Like, I'm not going to sit here and mope and grow up about it. I find the pants that can fit, but the problem I feel like with so much of the clothes is that people get hung up on the numbers, right? Like, oh, it's a zero, two, or four. What size am I? Like, why does it matter what size we are? <laughs> Well, size doesn't matter because um, all brands are different. Exactly. There's no standard in sizing. So yeah. you can go from a four to an eight. Exactly. You know, a six to a 12. <laughs> yeah. And, and then, there's vanity they, sizing. Yeah. And then they yeah. get so sad because they see the sizing and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm this size now. No, it's just the jeans. It's okay. <laughs> You're still amazing. I know. Well, you, there is one fact. You have to fit the largest part of your body first, you know. So if you go up a size, you, you can go up a size and have it altered. Yeah, exactly. You know, we, the, the clothes are mass produced. Mm -hmm. There's no way they're going to look perfect on everyone. Right. So the seamstress is your best friend. I like that. Okay. I, I have everything altered. Yeah. I need yeah. To that then yeah for sure and I also noticed that pants are always so long like I'm a, I'm short I guess. <laughs> yeah. everything is always just like way longer on me or whatever and most like if I'm wearing jeans or boots like boots kind of thing it's mm -hmm. okay but when it's about summertime and stuff it's like whew, that's a whole yeah. nother I don't know. You know, I, I made my clothes all through high school and oh. until I had my, my two kids, it was too much for me. I couldn't continue. So I know how things are made. And there are some things now that just amaze me. You know, you buy a dress or a skirt, it's not lined. The sleeves are always too long. And I have long arms. Mm. So I don't know what model they use. Right. But um, we, we really need to have things altered. Yeah. I love it. To look good. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming on. I will share. Well, thank you. Yeah. I will share your link in your bio and hopefully people can connect and reach out to you. Great.